This lecture talks about subspaces of a vector space. So if you have a set of uh, vectors, and then you're wondering if that set of vectors is a subspace of a vector space, how can we know that whether a set of vectors is a subspace of a vector space? First, we need to identify or we need to define what is a subspace of a vector space. So if F is a non-empty set of a vector space V, then S satisfies the following conditions. The first condition is if you pick a vector, a random vector in S, and you pick an arbitrary scalar alpha, then alpha times x is also a vector in the subset S. And the second condition is if you pick two random vectors in uh, the subset S, let's say x and y, then when you add the two vectors together, the sum of the two vectors is also in the same subset S. So if a, a non-empty subset of a vector space satisfies these two conditions, then S is said to be a subspace of V. Well, what does it mean? That means if I have a, let's say this is my vector space V, okay? And then if I pick a, a subset of my vector space, let's say S here. So in order to show that the subset S is a subspace of V, then first I need to show that if I pick one vectors in S, right? Let's say this is X. And if I multiply X to a, a scalar, alpha X, alpha X is also in the same subset. And then if I pick another vector, let's say Y, then if I add X to Y, X plus Y is also in the same subset S. Okay, and these two conditions here are called the closure properties, right? This means S is, the subset S is closed under scalar multiplication for the first conditions. And for the second condition, it means S is closed under addition. All right, so now if you give given a subset, we want to show that that subset is a subspace of a vector space. Then you can show that first S zero has to be in the subset to make sure that the set S is not empty. And then you have to show the two close properties C1 and C2 and you need to show that these two closure properties satisfy. Okay. And one other thing you want to keep in mind that if you have a vector space V, then a set of zero vector and V are the subspaces of V. And all, all the subspaces are a proper subspace, subspaces of V. Okay. Remember, if you have a vector V, a vector space V, then the whole entire vector space is a subspace. Uh, also, a, a set contains the zero vector is also a subspace of V. All other types of subspaces are just proper subspaces of V. Now, let's take a look at the two example here. So first, let's look at the set S that contains all the vectors X and one in R2, right? 
this s is in R2, we know that. Where x can be any value and the second coordinate or the second entry here has to be one. You wanna show that s is not a subspace. Well, in order to show that s is not a subspace, I just need to show that um, one of the closure properties here is violated, right? Or I can, if I show that zero is not in this subset, then S is not a subspace. So you can show either show that zero vector is not in S, or you show that um, alpha X is not in S, or you show that X plus Y is not in S. You just need to show one of these three conditions in order to show that S is not a subspace. And as we know that um, X and Y are in S, okay? And alpha is just a scalar. So which one you want to pick? So I can pick the first one. So is zero in S? Zero here is a vector as a zero vector is not in s right because in order to be in this s in this subset the second coordinate has to be one which is just not so that means the zero vector is not in s or i can use this third conditions to show that x plus y is not in s right so i pick a two vector let's say one one and then uh, two one so these two vectors here are in S because the second entries are at once. But when you add them together, you get three, two. And this vectors here is not in S because the second entry is not one. Now this is how you show a subset is not a subspace. Well, now let's take a look at the second example. Well, you have a set S containing uh, vectors in R2, we know this, where X2 equals to 2X1. And you wanna demonstrate that S is a subspace of R2. So again, in order to show that S is a subspace, you need to show first, zero is in S. Second, X alpha X is in S and third X plus Y is in S. So you need to show these three conditions. And then let's first ask, what is X? So X is a vector in S, right? And I define X as, I use X1 and X2 is two X1, okay? Well, this X1 can be any value. And if X2 is two times X1 is, that means this vector here is belonging to um, the set, subset S. How about Y? For Y, I will say, um, I said Y1 is the first entry and 2Y1 is the second entry, right? By the definitions, if, if Y2 equals to 2Y1, then Y here is in the subset S. And again, alpha is just a random arbitrary value in R. Okay, well, let's look at the first condition. Is zero in S? Well, is zero, is zero, zero, is zero because it's in S? Because zero equals two, two times zero, right? The second entry equals to two times the first entry. I could take a mark there. About the second conditions, I have to take alpha times x, which is x1 to x1. And it's gonna be equals to alpha x1 and two times alpha x1, okay? And this is in S because two times alpha x1 is two times, so the, because the second entry here is two times the first entry. And then the last condition, when you have x1 plus x plus y. 
So I can combine these two together and I can combine 2x1 plus 2y1. Okay, and 2x1 plus 2y1 is just 2 times x1 plus y1. That means this is in S because the second entry here is 2 times the first entry. So that means this some vector is in S. So if we show the three conditions satisfy, then we can conclude that yes, S is a subspace of R2. And then the next question is, how does S look like? So in R2, and we know that um, we can demonstrate R2 using XY coordinate. Okay, and then uh, this is a set contains all the vector where x1, x2 equals to 2x1. So let's say this is x1, this is x2. And then if x1 is 1 here, and I have 2 here. This is vectors. So this is the vector, one of the vector, right? 1, 2 is one of the vector in S, but you want to consider all the vectors in uh, R2. So then this total of the combinations, right? The collections of all the vectors in R2 is uh, will be the descriptions of the subset S. So then in R2, this subspace here, so S now is a subspace. So this subspace S is a line in R2. And it's actually this line, the line that contains the vector one and two. All right, it's a subspace. And in this case is a line. Now let's look at an example in R3. Well, let S be a subset that include um, all the vectors from which x2 equals to x1. So let's just one of the example of uh, a vector in S is, you can think of, it can be um, 1, 1, 2, right? Or it can be 0, 0, 1, and so on and so forth. So as long as the second entry is the same as the first entry, then that vector will belong to this subset. Now you want to demonstrate that S is a subspace of R3. Again, we want to show, uh, in this case, we want to show that first zero vector is in S. Second, x plus alpha x is in s. Third, x plus y is in s. All right, is zero in s? The answer is yes, because zero equals to zero, right? The first equals the same entry is alpha x is in it again we know that x we have to identify what is x and what is y so x is the factor um, let's say x1 and x2 equals to x1 so i just call it x1 for the second entry and x3 for y i want to call it y1 and y1 because they are the same and y3 and again alpha is just in a real number. All right. Now I want to see if alpha times x is an s. And the result is alpha x1, alpha x1, alpha x3. Okay. Since alpha x1 is the same as alpha x1, which satisfies this condition, so that means it's in s. How about the last one? When you have x1, x1, x3 plus y1, y1, y3. 
okay, is the same as x1 plus y1, x1 plus y1, and x3 plus y3. Okay, now the so first entry is the same as the second entry. That means this sum vector is also in S. So we already show the three conditions satisfy. That means S is a subspace of R3. How does this look like in um, how does it look? How does S look like in R3? So R3 is the dimensions is a three dimensional space of our real number. So I would say, let's see x1. This is the dimensions x2. And this is the dimension x3, right. And we know that um, this subset s contains all the vectors where x1 equals to x2. So let me draw like a line that's showing this is the line where x1 equals to x2. Make it a little, little clear. Right here. X one is the same as X two. This is the line. And then a plane that contain this, this vector is right here, this line right here is the is a subspace of R3. And this plane here contains this lie x1 equals to x2 or the vector x1 equals to x2 maybe the first vector is 1 1 right so 1 1 and 0 so 1 1 0 is a vector in s and is on this line x1 equals to x2 and a plane that contains the line x1 equals to x2 is actually the a, a visualizations of the subspace s So S looks like a plane in R3, and that plane contains X1 equals to X2 line. All right, so this is this lecture uh, introduces the idea of subspaces and how can we show whether a subset of a vector is a subspace of a vector space. And again, we need to show the three conditions. First, the zero is in the subset. Second, alpha x is in S. Third, x plus y is in S. So the second condition is a, it's called the closure properties, right? It's closure, it means S is closure under scalar multiplications. And the third condition is x plus y is in S is called, S is closed under addition.